I'd love for you to speak a little bit more on rejection and overcoming and maybe, you know, one of your personal proudest moments in that. Yeah. So rejection, um, I, I think women are afraid of that word. Like we think that rejection is something to be avoided at all costs. And I say BS on that. I think we celebrate rejection because that means you put yourself out there and you went for it. And I think most people are playing it safe and they don't do that. So I talk about rejection and I share how my publishing journey and that I got 113 rejections from literary agents before I got the one yes. So that means 113 emails came over that said like, yeah, no thanks. Or like, this isn't good enough until I had one email that said, hey, I might be interested in this. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, it's so funny because I was like, yes, I have an agent and now I'm going to get the book deal. I'm going to get my lake house and like all the things, right? Well, that didn't happen. The only difference was the publisher rejections now went to her and then she forwarded them on to me. So even after I got her, we got so many rejections from publishers until we got the yes. And it was like, I just knew, I knew like this was a dream that I had. I knew I had something to say and I was not going to stop. No one was going to tell me no. And finally the book is here because of that determination. And like, just imagine if I had stopped after rejection 25 or 50 yeah. or a hundred, you know, if I got to a hundred, it was like, that's it. I give up. Well, the book wouldn't be out in the world. Right.